book 356. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today, I'm going to tell you guys about what good is a bird that cannot fly. That's right. What good is a bird that cannot fly. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, a long, long time ago, in an area of the earth where the sun was shine for five years straight before it finally set, a mother bird laid five speckled eggs. In the proper process of time, all five eggs hatched, and the mother bird rejoiced with her husband over their five beautiful babies. When the time came for the five baby birds to leave the nest and learn how to fly, four of them hopped out of the nest, flapped their wings, and flew around above the treetops. One of the baby birds refused, and he said that he did not want to learn how to fly. Looking at him strangely, the father bird said, What good is a bird that cannot fly? Concerned about her baby, the mother bird told him that he could not live inside of the nest forever, and eventually he would have to learn how to fly so that he could leave. The baby bird responded by saying that he did not need to learn how to fly in order to leave the nest. Then he climbed out of the nest and using much caution, he climbed down the tree and stood on the ground. See, he said in a boastful manner, I do not need to fly in order to leave the nest. Still concerned for her baby, the mother told him that in order to find food, he had to fly. But the baby bird said he would simply use his two legs and his beak to forage for food like the other creatures. And after spending some time searching on the ground, he found a nice juicy worm. See, he said in a boastful manner, I do not need to fly in order to find food. Looking at him, the father bird said, What good is a bird that cannot fly? Day after day, the mother bird tried to convince her baby to fly, but every time she did, he came up with a different excuse about why he did not need to fly. After a long time, five full years to be exact, the baby bird, who was no longer a baby, woke up one morning and he did not see the sun in the sky as usual. Instead, he saw clouds and darkness and the warmth he had known his entire life was fading. Mother, mother, he called out, where is the sun and what happened to the warmth? His mother, who was busy gathering her things, responded by saying, I told you several times, my son, the sun shines on our home for five years straight and then it finally sets. When it sets, it does not rise again for one full year. In order to survive this period when the sun does not shine on our land, we must migrate to the place where the sun has gone. The bird looked around frantically. I cannot migrate to another land, he said in a panic. I do not know how to fly. Suddenly, the bird realized why his mother tried so hard to teach him how to fly over the years, and he understood why learning how to fly was of the utmost importance. With sadness in his eyes, the bird watched as his parents and all the rest of his kind flew away in the direction of the sun as the temperature got colder and colder. And no matter how hard he tried, he could not think of a way to make such a long migration without first teaching himself how to fly. As food became scarce and the cold weather became unbearable, the bird said to himself, Indeed, what good is a bird that cannot fly? And so, the morning motivation of the day is, What good is a bird that cannot fly? The worst thing that a human being can do is to disregard the special gift that they were given at birth. All too often, there are those of us who suppress what the Creator has placed inside of us for various reasons that seem good to us. However, we do not understand how suppressing our gifts will only bring about our own ruin in the end. Your gift is intimately tied to your purpose. And when the time comes for you to do that which you came to earth to do, and you are found to be the one who has not cultivated the special gift inside of yourself, you will lose your chance to be a positive force on this planet. So today, take the time to figure out what your special gift is. Cultivate it and practice it until it becomes second nature and always strive to do that which is good. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning. To order books in the Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels book series, search Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels on Amazon.com or visit www.dandyandbigherm.com.